Boxing King Media in association with Box Draw, Mickey Beck. What an interesting experience that was for fans and probably for you as well. Baffling, baffling night. It was baffling. I've said it was for all the others. That is the most weirdest fight I've had. I get the weird ones. I mean, I get the one with the long neck last time. The one before that was Crackers. Now he's mental. Just give me someone normal. Do you know what I mean? Give me a normal person. I was sat next to somebody and he said he genuinely was convinced that he'd had a pint before he walked into that ring. Uh, me or him? <laughs> oh, of course he did. Probably fucking had like some coca line, like a line of coke or something. Weird cunt, mate. He's, he's just, he ain't right in the head, mate. He kept growling me. I was like, what are you growling at, mate? You know what I mean? Don't fire. Calm down. That, that was strange, man. And obviously when you hit him to the body early on, yeah. it looked like you were hurt. Then he's swinging away. But how was that experience for you? Do you know what? Like, throughout the fight, I was like, oh, I've done him now. I've done him. I've done him. I've done him. And then, and then like, he just like kept throwing back. And I was like, obviously he ain't, man. Then. Jesus. Like, tough old geezers. When I hit him, I thought, he ain't. I thought, you know, like, throughout the fight, I thought he was going to do what he'd done again. But then he stayed down. And I was like, right. But yeah, yeah, I got the victory. Obviously, you've done stuff in the amateurs, in the pros. Was that, you've said it yourself, was that the most unusual experience you've had in the ring? Yeah, pro, yeah definitely the most weirdest I've had. Because normally, I lose my rake. And in my head, I was going, don't lose your rake, don't lose your rake, just can not keep chill, keep chill. So, I'm happy with the performance, but I'm going to watch it back, and then I'm my biggest critic, you know what I mean? So, I'll watch it back with my old man, and we'll sit and watch it down, and then I'll work on things for the next time. The most important thing is, you got the job done, you got him out of there, so you move on to the next one. So. Just tell the fans a little, because obviously we've never spoken to you before. What do you do outside boxing? Just a, a quick brief of your outside life. Um, I'm a, obviously a, a full-time scaffolder. I work by Monday to Friday, do you know what I mean? So it is a hard job, but obviously I've got used to it now. So, do you know what I mean? I'm just a normal working class, working class boy. I'm one of the everyday people. You'll see me out in the street or in the pub and go, oh, mate, how's it going? And you, you think, oh, he's, he was on telly. He's on telly. I mean, I'm just a working class man. I think he'll have a lot of fights, Mick. I don't think he'll ever forget that one. Just let us know where they can follow you on social media. Yeah, uh, Mickey Burt Jr. on everything, really. So just follow me on that. Get, if you want to get in touch with me, I'll text you straight back. I'm not, well, I'm not one of them, I'll text you straight back. I mean, so thank you to everyone who's bought tickets and support me. I hope for your opponent's sake, he definitely didn't have a line of coke tonight. Yeah, yeah, he probably, probably did the weird. He's probably going to have one now, the crank. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's a bit of a strange, strange night, strange time. I've seen a lot of boxing, I'll be honest, that was right up there. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I've been boxing a long time, and that's the weirdest one I've had, and it's with me. So, jeez, yeah. Hopefully, onwards and upwards from now. Good man, well, we'll speak to you soon, yeah, thank you. Cheers, mate, thank you. Cheers.